Ruth here and I'm, I made these recently and I demold them and um, I kind of did a slight mistake when I uh, did this one because like I kind of accidentally left a cover on it and it touched this one that was overlapping too but uh, it should be an interesting effect anyway maybe <laughs> and since I did kind of overfill it just slightly I can maybe sand it down or something I don't know or just leave it and just I don't know really but we'll see I mean it could be a good effect you never know so since I have this in my hand I might as well start with this one and um the lights are really bad in here, so let me just change this up. Okay, so turning on the blue light should make it better, maybe. So I use some of the mica powder I got for a Christmas present, and I actually use uh, like the micro brushes and just kind of just you know painted it on the mold and put the mold inside. I mean the resin inside. The mold. Sorry. Pretty nice. Well, I think it was just white. I kind of just dragged across the surface. Let's see. Can I put in the better? Let's see. See that better now? So, um, I don't know if you can see the, uh, the sparkles, but it is very pretty. So that's that one. And this one, you can probably see it better on this one, is gold. And I think a slightly different color here too, I can't remember. But that was pretty cool. Not really much of any bubbles, which is nice. I don't know if you can see the glitter on this side better or not. I like these sparkles. Okay, so um okay, so this one. You can see a couple definite bubbles on the outside. Very nice. I did it mainly like red. I don't know if you really really see or not this will focus at all. Yeah, well, at least you can see the gold stand out. Not much to the black on Oops. <laughs> Not the tripod. Not much to the black on top of the thing. And somehow a blue glitter speck got in there. So as you can see, kind of, I'll put it in the camera. I mean, the effect on this side, on the other side, it's not too bad. It's like, just, you know, snip off the excess bits from the neck. It's pretty cool. Can't really see the glitter very much. I like that mica powder is like basically glittery on its own, so I wouldn't like to add glitter or anything. So that's that stuff. But I did slightly go across this as well. <laughs> but anyway.
Come on. Out she come. Okay, so here is... It's a bit better here. It's supposed to be red and gold, by the way. Quite a few bubbles, but this still looks pretty cool. bits off but not as bad as the first attempt and it was super bubbly okay so that's a Gryffindor one over kind of overlapped isn't really part of the design so I can just cut that off nice but not as many bubbles as the first attempt which is nice so that's those two okay here are these ones well, I can see bubbles in there but hopefully the other side's not that bad It was part of the uh, wax seal set. So first up, hmm, you shouldn't really have bubbles in this because it is for a wax stamp. So I'm, I'd have to make this again, but it'd be good as a, uh, I don't know, something. So the glitter, uh, some of the mica powder sparkle is getting off on my hand, so uh, maybe I should have, I don't know, sprayed the mold really? I did forget to spray that. But as you can see, the bubbles inside the design is not good for, because like, it would get in the way of the design when I make, you know, wax seals, so that's not actually quite good for that. But it's good to uh, make it into a magnet, maybe? I don't know. So, yellow. Yeah, not too, too bad, I guess. It's very sparkly. But the bubbles are in bits, like underneath the owl word and the post word and other bits. So the owl will come out nicely, I think, maybe part of the beat. But a bit above the eye. I'm trying to get on the head, but the actual owl post words will not, I don't think, come out very well. My hand does really. I'm gonna have to wash them before I start doing it after this. But um, yes, so this um, will have to be a remake or maybe do something else for that. So this one, if you watched a previous video somewhere, sometime. I did try and make the 
I just did it clear and then I painted it by hand, which the end result was a bit, a bit messy, but at least it was messier than this. So I did uh, use the micro brush and paint on the uh, mica powder. So hopefully it will turn out okay. It's quite translucent though, obviously, because it's only. I didn't really do a peach colored back or a white colored back, I just did clear. <laughs> so, um, it's very translucent, I believe the word is. But still, it's pretty, pretty nice. I'll probably I'll do some maybe using over the other side so all my glitter comes off in my hand. <laughs> so that's not coming there. Oops. I did do the uh, lightning bolt in gold, so I can, can definitely uh, spot that out when you look at it. But anyway, really hard to do micro brushes that were as small as the glasses and put the like powder in the glasses, so that didn't really work quite as well, but still. And obviously the, uh, the eyes, and then there's kind of... I just did a model with black eyes, even though that's obviously not true, but it's kind of creepy with only the dot in the middle and not the full eye covered in. <laughs> but yes, it's, uh, still, it's, it's like a ghost, really, definitely. So it's pretty nice. So now for the bottom. Not bad. Not bad, I say. Kind of the freckles and the thing kind of bubbling together or something together. It has a uh, oh, weird looking uh, on the uh, freckles on the eyes and on the eyebrows, you know, that, that side. It's kind of weird looking. But uh, yes, so that's, that's that one. Mm -hmm. uh, so glittery. Um, for the main event is this. I wanted to try it out. Though I will admit that I did kind of mix. It will the first or the second that no the second that and um <clears throat> and then um I kind of thought it was the ratio on like the other one but it turned out to be a different ratio so I did mess up that one and I did um need to top up anyway so I uh, made a little bit more but in the right ratio and I did it on top so it's cured on the top. It's nice and smooth, though it is a bit textured or something there. But I did, as you can probably see, color it like the other ones. I got slightly bored up here, so I just used my finger and just dragged out some of the, uh, the gold, green, and blue up there. I did color in the, the crest-ish. Like, you know, but there are a ton of bubbles, which I'm guessing that was from like my batch that I did wrong. But I technically did want bubbles, so that's good. At least bubbles down here. Not so much I wanted bubbles up there, but like in the uh, ocean part. Or lake part, whatever. I didn't want them down here anyway. Mm -hmm. And maybe around the edges, like I do right now, which does make it look really cool. So hopefully it's all cured. Because there is a lot of bubbles in there. Oops. 
So it's not as firm because it's a slightly bent up, so um, I'm guessing it's not quite cured all the way. She's not doing it. Oh, go over it with the. I don't have any so I know what it works. Um, so, yes. It should actually take quite a lot. So, ta da! I don't know if you can see it. Probably need a white background, though. I wonder. Does this work? I have some tissue paper lying around. Looks more like pale. You can sort of see colors. Like. I thought that was pretty cool. And I will do so maybe do a slight thin layer of. Yeah, I'm gonna do a slight thin layer of like beauty resin or something on these bits, the window bits, because like all the other little bubbles. And so nothing more glitter comes up. Then it'll be smooth instead of the uh, ridges I feel. Because it is, you know. The mold is like that, so I can feel the individual ridges or so. Anyway, so, uh, because I won't fill it all the way up, obviously, just like just a thin layer. Then I shall replace the pot I have with the my baby my soap sink and I'll use it as a soap tray for my sink over there because this obviously is uh, <laughs> sort of a mess up because of all the bubbles but it is very nice so I was I did actually want micro bubbles at least around the edges so that's why i kind of pushed most of them on the edges here see oh that's pretty cool because like it is the prefect bathroom stained glass window it's the bathroom water mermaid ocean water so i didn't want the bubbles just on all of them <laughs> see does look much I do like the bubbles on the side of the window bits and the actual sort of big ones in the water not really in the mermaid part but stuff it's pretty neat I'm very glad it is cured Straight. 
That's what I'll do. I want it to stay straight. So I'll it and I'll leave it for a couple days. Yeah. Don't sniff for us. Um, <clears throat> I'll leave it for maybe a couple more days and I'll do the finishing touches on them. Oh, this is sparkly. I wonder if you can see. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Slightly. Anyway. And also one of the reasons why I wanted to try and redo some of the Harry Potter ones is because very soon is the 8th today. And there's two more days until the standard Hogwarts Legacy game comes out. Obviously the deluxe version came out yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. My brother got that one. But I even got the standard one because I didn't you know. I didn't mind starting to do it later and I couldn't spend that much. Um so I've been buying pins as you know. And you need to buy all the less minded stuff. And so yes. That's it I believe. Just to make this little thing. So like, I have to remake these ones to try it out. And I think I'll put instead of that, I'll put the. I don't know if Mojo Loose will help it melt. Help the Mojo Powder not come off in your hands after it's finished or not. So I shall try that. I do have the Mojo Loose. I buy it and wait for it to come before I did this, but I forgot to put it on these. Memory of a goldfish. I only remembered after I started in the cream closet to open it and do the spray the rest while I was at it. So I shall <laughs> do that next time. But um, yes, I'll do a thin layer of UV resin on this one and these ones too. So the glitter won't come off. And uh, these are all normally, we wouldn't like this because it's for wax seal, but it's going to not be using for wax seal because of all the bubbles. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Maybe a magnet? I guess if I had a black magnet circle, it'll at least show the design. And it is pretty smooth on this side, so I wouldn't need. You know, an extra layer you do this on that side, just this side. But yes. So that's the stimulating video. I was thinking of putting it on the end of a different video, but uh, technically that opening video had molds of its own, which I didn't use for this. And I didn't actually use the resin that was in that kit. I need to use up, you know, the uh, remaining Sophie and Toffee the resin I have. And um, speaking of Sophie and Toffee and Harry Potter, the last um, resin craft kit, the Slytherin and, Huffle and Hufflepuff, which should come with the uh, Slytherin and Hufflepuff prefect badge molds too, I think. Um, so that one has been shipped to me, and I'm waiting for that. It should arrive next Tuesday. So technically by the time this... I'll be uploading it after, or way after this anyway. But by the time I um, upload this, I believe it will be April, so... Yeah, currently it's February. My free slots are in April right now. Unless I squeeze in and do three videos a week. And some things. But anyway, uh, that's it. So thank you for watching. Like I said, for more, ring the doorbell for notifications over and out.